बड़ा सेक्शन 1.1 हम कंटिन्यू करेंगे ठीक है अभी तक हमने कुछ प्रॉपर्टीज और कुछ टाइप्स ऑफ मेट्राइस डिस्कस किए हैं आई विल कंटिन्यू टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द ऑपरेशन ऑन मेट्राइस राइट तो उसमें जो सबसे पहले आएगा दैट विल बी ट्रांसपोज ऑफ अ मैट्रिक्स ओके ट्रांसपोज ऑफ मैट्रिक्स ठीक है आई विल सी वट ट्रांसपोज ऑफ अ मैट्रिक्स मीन्स यू विल लेट ए बी एनी मैट्रिक्स ऑफ ऑर्डर एम बाई एन ओके देन द मैट्रिक्स obtained from a a matrix a by what we are supposed to do interchanging by interchanging rows and columns of a okay it is denoted by a this t here or another denotation is a dash right now if you write it symbolically what does this mean symbolically if we are given a matrix a i am writing this one as in compact form it is am by n then a transpose or this thing we write this is equal to the matrix a sub j i n by m okay now the matrix was uh, m by n and uh, the transpose of this matrix will be n by m that is to say that is to say ith jth entry of a is equal to jth ith entry of a transpose right the process the process of interchanging interchanging rows and columns is called transposition okay 
these are basic definitions you have already gone through these in class 12th itself so I'm not you know wasting so much of energy on this you know and uh, if uh, anybody is not getting this then I will give an example right now my matrix is see, it's 1 it's 2 it's 4 it's X y and it's the, then the transpose of this is this matrix will be here the row first will become the column first and the row second will become the column second and similarly things will go on. so this was all about transpose of a matrix and now there are some properties properties of uh, transpose of matrices okay now we'll try to discuss them I don't think this is working on this it's much better We will write down the properties of transpose of matrix, right? It is properties of transpose. So the property number one is A transpose whole transpose is A itself, right? Where you can write where A is a matrix A I J. by n okay now the property number second is if we take sum of two matrices then the transpose of the two matrices a transpose plus b transpose now you will write provided provided sum is definite now firstly it has to be definite defined on both sides okay now the property number third is if you have a scalar product with the matrix then this is k a transpose okay this k belongs to the set of complex numbers and the property number four is if you are given the product of two uh, matrices that's a b and then you will just try to find the transpose that is always equal b transpose a transpose provided product is definite 
on both sides. Now the property number 5 is, if you are given a matrix A and uh, some integral power, positive integral power N, then you want to take the transpose of that. You can write it as A transpose power N, right, where N is some natural number. Okay, now we can uh, look at this. It is A power N transpose that we can write as A, A, so on up to A. Now this thing is N times, then you want to take the transpose using this property, it will come out to be A transpose, A transpose, so on up to A transpose N times. So you'll product them, you will get A transpose power N. This is it. So this is all about uh, the transpose and the properties of transpose of a uh, matrix. Now we'll move to discuss uh, conjugate of a matrix. Right. Conjugate of matrix. Now, conjugate of matrices. We'll write it like this. Of a matrix, we write it. Right. Now what's the conjugate? We have discussed the transpose of a matrix. Now we will discuss the conjugate, right? Now, <coughs> you, this thing you have gone through, right? In class 12, but I will uh, discuss it again here. And some of the properties of conjugate of a matrix also, right? We will consider, we will let A equal to AIJ m by n matrix okay then matrix obtained from a matrix a by taking conjugate by taking conjugate of each entry of Right. It is denoted by A bar, let's say conjugate order here. I'll write it in points order remains. same okay now if we look at this as symbolically if we look at this what does this mean symbolically if a is a matrix a sub i j m by n then a conjugate is a matrix again of same order but having the conjugate of each entry right I will write down a note here note 
if a i j belongs to set of reals for all i 1 2 so on up to m and j 1 2 so on up to n then a conjugate is directly a because on conjugate there is no effect uh, on a real number there is no uh, effect of conjugate right also you must know this uh, this a i j represents or you can say denotes conjugate of a i j you know the uh, conjugate of any complex number right that's actually the a mirror image of that complex number about x axis for if there is a complex number here that's x plus this and it is z it's a uh, conjugate will uh, be something like this which is so which is actually the mirror image of this z about x axis about the real axis as we say in complex plan okay so this was all about you know uh, conjugate i will just give an example to show you what does it mean for example you can just take an example a that is say it's one plus one zero iota two and negative eight. The order is two by three. So its conjugate will be a matrix of same order, but each entry will take conjugate. Now the conjugate of this is one minus iota. Now the one is real, pure, purely real, and zero is also. So you'll get negative iota here, two here and iota here so you can see it is again 2 by 3 but the entries are conjugate of these okay now we will see different properties of conjugate of matrix properties of conjugate of matrix the property number one is again if uh, we just take the conjugate of a matrix and then we'll take again the conjugate you will get the matrix as it is and the property number second is if we take sum of two matrices and then take the conjugate that conjugate will distribute right it'll be a conjugate b conjugate uh, but you will write provided provided sum is defined okay provided sum is defined and the property number third will be if you are just taking scalar multiple of a matrix and then take the conjugate here it will be k conjugate a conjugate where k belongs to complex 
set of all complex numbers. Now the property number four is, if I take the product, okay, and then take the conjugate, it will not reverse here, it will be directly A conjugate, B conjugate, provided, that's important, provided product is defined. Now the property number fifth, if I take A, power N and then take the conjugate, it will be a conjugate power n, where n is again a positive integer. Right, you can just look at this as it is a n and then conjugate means it is a, a, so on up to a. It is n times, this thing is n times, so you'll get a conjugate a conjugate a conjugate so this is a conjugate power n right let's pause again operation that is transpose conjugate or simply we call it transjugate of matrix right uh, so let us discuss uh, this one we will let as the name suggests, it's a, a combination of two operations as we have discussed, transpose and conjugate, right? We will let a matrix A to be equal to A i j m by n, then matrix obtain it. from A by, that is matrix A by, by taking, taking transpose, by taking transpose of what? Transpose of conjugate of A <coughs> or or taking conjugate or taking conjugate of transpose of A. It is denoted by A theta or you can directly write it as A star right so to say what what does this mean we are saying that transpose of conjugate that is i will write a conjugate is equal to transpose of conjugate firstly you will take conjugate and then you will take the transpose of that here in the second you will firstly take transpose and then conjugate, right? Taking conjugate of the transpose. Okay, so it is denoted by this or this. Symbolically, what does this mean? Symbolically, if you are given a matrix, if A is some matrix, for m by n implies, if I go by this, firstly I will take the 
कंजुगेट इम्प्लाइज ए कंजुगेट इज इक्वल ए आई जे एज यू नो द ऑर्डर विल रिमेन सेम जस्ट वी विल टेक द कंजुगेट ऑफ ईच एंट्री विच इम्प्लाइज दैन द मोमेंट यू विल टेक द ट्रांसपोज ऑफ दिस इज कंजुगेट एंड देन ट्रांसपोज इज द ऑर्डर विल इज चेंज हियर सो इट विल बिकम जे आई एंड द कंजुगेट विल रिमेन सो दिस मैट्रिक्स विल बी एन बाई एम विच इम्प्लाइज एज वी हैव रिप्रजेंटेड दिस बाई थीटा और ए स्टार इज समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके दिस इज वन वे इफ वी गो बाई दिस एंड इफ वी गो बाई दिस डेफिनेशन देन वॉट यू कॉन गेट इज इफ माई मैट्रिक्स ए इज ए सब आई जे एम बाई एन विच इम्प्लाइज टेकिंग द ट्रांसपोज फर्स्ट ए ट्रांसपोज विल बी ए जे आई एंड देन इट विल बी एन बाई एम नाउ टेकिंग द कंजुगेट ऑफ दिस ए ट्रांसपोज एंड देन कंजुगेट यू विल गेट ए जे आई कंजुगेट एंड द ऑर्डर विल रिमेन so you know the representation of this is say it is a star or a theta is equal to the same matrix a j i b n b m so you have choices either you will just take the conjugate and then transpose or transpose then conjugate okay for uh, conjugate of matrix properties of conjugate or transpose conjugate what you will like conjugate of matrix okay now well, the property number 1 will be if we take conjugate of a matrix then again we will take the conjugate we will get a matrix back as it is right the property number second is if we take sum what the sum has to be defined and then take the conjugate it will be same a conjugate plus b conjugate okay now again show it by uh, you know splitting this into firstly conjugate and then transpose and then use the properties of conjugate and transpose that i will write provided sum is defined okay now the property number third is if i have k a that's a scalar multiple then you have the conjugate it will turn out to be conjugate of this and conjugate of this because on uh, on a scalar there is no effect of a uh, transpose now the property number 4 is if you a b uh conjugate you can again split the uh, conjugate into conjugate and conjugate <coughs> so you will get b conjugate a conjugate again provided product is defined and the last one is if we have a k power n and then you have conjugate this will be 
a a transjugate power n where you will write n is some natural okay again prove these uh, properties you can go for the proof as well there is no point you know proving them here right i will give an example and we will just try to find uh, uh, transjugate of that matrix right We have 1 plus iota, 3 plus 4 iota, 9, 0, 6, and then iota. So we are supposed to arrive here, a transjugate, which is the combination of firstly conjugate and then transpose, or firstly transpose and then the conjugate. So whatever you like, if I take the a conjugate of this firstly I will use this uh, the moment I will take the conjugate I will get 1 minus iota 3 minus 4 iota now 9 will remain as it is and uh, then I will get 0 6 it will be negative iota and then the transpose okay because it's conjugate I have taken that and then transpose that will equal to this the moment you will take the transpose it will become 1 minus iota 3 minus 4 iota then it's 9 here it is 0 here 6 here and minus iota here. so this will be your transjugate of the matrix now these five properties are very much important this is all about uh, transjugate of matrix <coughs> uh, as you can see the transjugate is itself it's a combination of two uh, operations that we have discussed earlier that is conjugate and then transpose or transpose then conjugate okay now we'll move uh, to another uh, definition that is adjoint or you can say classical adjoint some authors use classical adjoint and some simply adjoint okay uh, no discussing adjoint I am assuming that uh, you all people know about cofactors and minors. I will not go there. That's in 12th class, right? So we will discuss. Uh, I'll write here classical adjoint. It's nothing new. You have gone through this by the name adjoint, okay? Of a matrix. And uh, everybody knows that adjoint is calculated only for square matrices. You must be knowing that. Classical adjoint. Or you can simply say adjoint, no problem. Okay. I will let A to be a matrix. As I have said, it has to be a square matrix okay. and a i g a sub i g b cofactor cofactor of a sub i g this is the entry in determinant of a then matrix b equal to a that's capital a sub i j you know it it is the cofactor right b equal this and the transpose here that is equal to a sub 1 1 and the last one will be a 1 n and you will get here a 2 1 you will get here a 2 2 and the last one will be a 2 n and then so on a n1 so on a 
a n2 okay and then a n n this matrix then this matrix that we have obtained here b is called adjoint is called adjoint of matrix a it is denoted by this symbol okay <coughs> this is the uh, definition of uh, adjoint of matrix right you are supposed to find uh, uh, firstly uh, the matrix has to be a square matrix then uh, after that uh, you are supposed to find the cofactors of each entry of uh, this matrix a and then you are supposed to take the transpose of uh, though, though that cofactor matrix so we can uh, say thus adjoint of a matrix is defined to be transpose of a matrix formed by cofactors of a of matrix a this is to say that uh, firstly you will find the cofactor of each entry that's a11 a12 and so on then you will form the matrix of the of those cofactors then the moment you will take the transpose of that matrix that matrix of cofactors what you will get is that will be called adjoint of the matrix a okay now there are some important properties and they are usually asked uh, in any competitive examination right so we will uh, discuss them they are very much important right properties of adjoint of a matrix okay now we'll discuss and uh, the properties one by one you know if we are given a matrix say that has to be a square then we will discuss about uh, the adjoint now the property number 1 is very much known to you right you have used it uh, so many times adjoint of a is equal to determinant of a adjoint of a in a is n. a in where you will write a is some square matrix of order n okay and i n you know i sub n is an identity matrix of order n this is the property number first now property number second is adjoint of a actually the determinant of adjoint of a is equal to determinant of a n minus 1 right we will prove this as we know a into adjoint of is determinant of a and then i n now determinant is a real number it's a scalar you can say right 
So I will take determinant on both sides that is A adjoint of A equal to determinant determinant of A and then I right now you know the property of determinants that is I can write this as you know this thing right this property you know and uh, the moment uh, this is some number right the moment I try to take it outside the determinant it will come out as determinant of a power n and then the determinant of i n we have used uh, two basic properties of determinants one is if I am given a b and I am taking the determinant then I can write determinant of a into determinant of b which isn't true if we are taking sum okay that's property number one another one is if you are taking a scalar multiple with a and a matrix is given to be of order n then this can be written as k key power n and then the determinant of a similar is the case i am taking the determinant of a out and the order of this is n so this will be determinant of a power n okay now we must know that uh, this uh, property and then this property holds only when uh, the matrix a is non-singular that means determinant is not equal to zero right this does not hold if the matrix is uh, singular right so this will imply uh, determinant of A as it is and then this adjoint of A determinant of adjoint of A is equal to, now you are very much familiar about the uh, determinant of IN that is 1 now I will shift this to this side it will become determinant of adjoint of A is determinant of A key power n minus one that was to be proved right so this uh, property this property holds only when a is non-singular right. kind of uh, matrix is that adjoint adjoint of a and then the determinant of that is determinant of a key power n minus 1 whole square I'm again saying that this uh, this thing holds only uh, when the matrix A is non-singular I write as we know determinant of adjoint of A is determinant of A key power n minus 1 now replace A by adjoint of A. So what you will get is you will get adjoint of adjoint of A and the determinant is equal to adjoint of A and then the power is n minus 1 now you know the determinant of this is determinant of a power n minus 1 and then this n minus 1 is here so you will get determinant of a power n minus 1 whole square so this is the property number third now property number four I will write here property number four is very simple if determinant of A is non-zero that is it's non-singular then determinant of adjoint of A is non-zero that is 
that's also non singular now if determinant of a is zero then determinant of adjoint of a is also zero you can you know <coughs> derive these two results from the properties we have discussed so far right so in short you will remember that if a matrix is non-singular then it's adjoint the determinant uh, of adjoint is non-zero and if a matrix is singular then it is adjoint is also singular now property number six is we're supposed to find what will happen if we take adjoint adjoint of a this will be equal to say i will just do it in another way it is dash 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 we'll see what this you know turn out to be right so we will write again as we know a times adjoint of a is determinant of a i n again i am saying it that this thing holds when the matrix is non singular now replace replace a by adjoint of a okay what you will get is adjoint of a and then adjoint and then again adjoint of a that will be equal to determinant of adjoint of a and multiplied by i n now you know the value of this is determinant of a keep our n minus 1 and then it is i n right now i can write it as taking multiple of a on both sides i can write it as a into adjoint of a and then adjoint adjoint of a right that is equal to a times determinant of a power n minus 1 the moment you will multiply it by a that is a here okay we have multiplied both sides by a now you know this a into adjoint of a is determinant of a i n and then adjoint adjoint of a that is equal to determinant of a n minus 1 and a right so let's move to this side so I can take this determinant to that side right what I will get is adjoint adjoint of the matrix A it will turn out to be determinant of A power n minus 2 into the matrix so this is the fill in the blanks that's to be filled that's adjoint of adjoint of A will come out to be determinant of A power n minus 2 multiplied by A okay now property number seven is if you take adjoint of product of two matrices right that will come out to be adjoint of b and adjoint of a that's again that shoe socks property right and the property number eight is you can if you are supposed to find the adjoint of the transpose then you can firstly calculate the adjoint 
of the matrix and then take whole transpose. So these are the properties, eight properties of adjoint of uh, a matrix, right? That's it. They are most important properties. They will be frequently used in the questions asked in higher mathematics, right? So we will go through them. Thank you.